Are you considering a bathroom remodel? If you are, one of the decisions you're going to have to make is what you want to put on the walls around the tub or the shower. Hi everyone, Bob Galise with One Man and a Hammer and OneManandAHammer.com. You know, it's it's a concern of a lot of people, especially the woman of the house. Um, and don't be sending me letters, and typically the women take care of this, um, is the mold around tile. And if you have tile that has been installed 30 years ago, 20 years ago or more, um, typically you have that black mold problem growing from the, uh, the grout joints, and you clean those uh, one Saturday and the following Sunday they're back again. Well, that's not because of the grout itself. It's not because of the tile. It's because of what's behind the wall or what's behind the tile. Typically, it is the surface the tile is stuck to that is causing the problem, such as drywall or plaster. Um, back in the day, um, when they had mud jobs, there really wasn't a big mold problem. Mud jobs used to put mortar all up and down the wall. And as drywall uh, came into play and became uh, widely used, um, that's when mold really became a problem because the paper um, and the gypsum products are a great feast for mold. They love it. Um, so when you have um, a decision to make about what you're going to put around your tub or your shower, um, I'm not a big fan of the fiberglass walls. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way it, 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 it stays. Um, at, in time, they do get scratched up and, and a little stained and things like that. Um, but a lot of people say, well, Bob, I don't want this maintenance headache. Well, neither do I for my clients. Bottom line is, when you do tile, if you use a waterproof membrane, such as the one made by Schluter, uh, called the, uh, they have a Dietra mat for the floor, and they have the Curdy mat for the walls. It is waterproof. And if you use something like this, there's no gypsum for the mold to attach itself to. So you're not going to have that problem. Also, if you use a grout with an integrated latex additive in the grout, it's in its power form, as you mix the grout with water, it releases and mixes that latex additive uh, in the grout. And as the grout is applied and it dries, you get a nice surface that is essentially, it's water resistant and dirt resistant. But you do have to, once in a while, hose down your shower walls. Don't just walk out of your shower and let all the soap scum stay there. If you have a handheld shower, perfect. Just wash down your walls. If you don't have a handheld, you may want to consider getting one because it does help keep that shower clean. So just remember that, you know, your, your bathroom, and especially your tile, it's kind of like, you know, your dental maintenance. Uh, you've got to go in and get those teeth cleaned once in a while. Uh, if you keep those walls clean, if you do have tile, you're not going to have that problem with mold growth. Don't forget to join me every Saturday morning from 8 to 9 a.m. on the Talk of the Town, a.m. 1330, WLW. We'll be talking home remodeling, and um, I think you're going to get a lot of good tips this weekend. Fall's coming. We want to make sure you get your home locked up tight. We'll see you then, everybody.